comes in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Arise from thy slumber. Arise from thy sleep. It's time to arise and command your morning. Welcome back to the inner man with this week edition of commanding your morning taking dominion over your week. This is A.B. Aris declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah and blessed be the name of Jesus. We magnify and extol the Lord. Glory unto his name. Oh blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory unto the God of heaven. He is in the affairs of men. Blessed be the name of the Lord for his name is glorious. His name is mighty. His name is all powerful. Glory unto the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Reba satamando reboshata. Rekelamando rebiadabosha. Inamando rebokosaya. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we want to reveal the power of the fourth watch or the 3 a.m. prior time. Zaturamandi Oshaya. Today we are going to speak a little on the, the watches, but the focus is on the 3 a.m. prayer time. I know mighty things happen at that time. I know, so I, I, I know when understanding is revealed and we take action, we can see a different. You see, people of God, there is power. There is power in praying at 3 a.m. and I'm going to take you to the scripture and I'm going to explain to you why oh God bless you hallelujah Jesus Psalm 63 6 read thus when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches Psalm 119 148 reads my eyes anticipate the night watches that I may meditate on your word. I think it is very uh, important to note that David said the night watch is when he used to meditate on the word of God. Is it, 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 the night watch is when he used uh, to, 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 to give himself over to God in meditating on the word. And I do believe from, from scripture and understanding because the Bible said that the Lord walked the earth and I believe, I personally believe that is it. It is at this time, from what I've read and experienced in my own life, that during this time, oh God Almighty, it's almost like the veil of the spirit realm is, is thinner. It's almost like this is a time that 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 you can, uh, in the name of Jesus, move into spiritual things uh, by the Spirit of God. You can do that anytime, but there's something particular about the 3 a.m. prayer time. There is power in the 3 a.m. prayer time. There is power in waking up, in rising up uh, a great hour before the day and to pray, and to pray. You see in the name of Jesus there are watches uh, that people pray on. In the name of Jesus we have to understand that watches represent the different time that watchmen are normally on their post. The Bible says if the Lord watch not the city, the watchman watch in vain. So there are different watches, shift rotation. There are different watches of the day when you pray these three hour watches. Oh God Almighty. And the two most important watch, well, the two most important watch that I've come to understand is the is the third and the fourth watch. The third watch is where the day changes to the next day, and the fourth watch is where the sun, uh, that that great time before the sun comes up, before the breaking of day comes with the rising of the sun. The morning watches are very significant, as I said. The third watch is between. 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Hallelujah, Jesus. And this is where great spiritual activity take place. In this watch, there is such a, a level of warfare. In this watch, there is a fight between light and darkness to take over the coming day. To take over the coming day, there is a race to the gate of the new day. Oh, glory to God. The four watches from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And this is where victory is declared and the gates of the city are seized. This is where the morning 
this is where we, we we want to command our day this is where the morning is established and the day is commanded job 38 12 said as thou command the morning since thy days and cause the day spring to know its place the 3 a.m prayer time is where we decree and command the blessings of god over our day whilst the 12 a.m to 3 a.m. is the time of great warfare. The time of great warfare. This is a time that witches and evil forces do their abominable sacrifices. It is this time, Makushka Paliakatai. It is this time that they want to contaminate the day with their evil sacrifices. This time is a time of higher spiritual warfare. As I said, there is a race to the city of the gates. There is a race to see the city of the gates. And the Lord gave me an understanding from 1 Kings 18, 45, Rebo Shanda to 46. And this is where Elijah and Ahab was racing to the city. And it said, and it came to pass in the in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and the wind and there was a great rain and a abroad and went to jezreel a abroad he, 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 elijah commanded him to go to jezreel and he rode and went to jezreel he said the hand of the lord was up on elijah and elijah outran Elijah girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. And when I read that scripture, the Lord said, this is the understanding that he wants us to have. Is that during this prior time, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., Ikaba Shanda, there is a race to the gates of the city. There is a race to the gate of the new day. And the, 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 the wicked, they devote themselves to, to make sure they contaminate. It. I want you guys to remember there was a king in the Bible when Israel was warring against this king. I think it's Moab, Abashanda, but just check for reference. And the Bible said when Israel was about to destroy them, the man sacrificed his son upon the wall and joshua prophesied that curse is a person that, that that laid the foundation in the blood of their child or something like that but what i'm saying is that this is where they do the abominable sacrifice to desecrate the day to release evil thing upon the day this is where the saints have to contend to take the cities this is why many cities are so given over to darkness and wickedness this is why many cities you go into a city and you feel the heaviness it is because because the saints are not praying it is because they are not rising up a great all before day and taking charge of the city we have to rise up and pray saints we have to rise up and pray now the fourth watch or the tree and prayer time is where we set the day this is the time of visitation the time that god walks the earth genesis 32 reading about shakur i'm going to read verse 24 and 26 and he said and jacob was left alone and they arrested a man with him until the what the breaking of day so i want you to understand that the wrestle is up until the breaking of day but it's between the 12 and 3 that you you the warfare is that is highest and between Three to six is, is before the breaking of day, so that's the time the tides are being turned. Oh, glory! Verse six said, and he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Oh, glory to God! Somebody, Jacob, rested all night. Jacob rested all night, and he prevailed. He prevailed before the breaking of day. This is why many times people wake up and Namako Toshkapali and Jesus have mercy. You wake up and you feel defeated already and the day has just started. You wake up and you feel so downcast and the day has just started. This is because you lost the battle. Because you slept. You slept. You slept. The Bible said while men slept, the enemy came and planted tears. While you are 
sleeping you could be shattered you could have sat you have been destroyed and you don't even know it Luke 6 12 said and it came to pass in those days that he speaking of our Lord Jesus went out into the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer Jesus continued all night in prayer our Lord was setting for us an example a, 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 a pattern to follow he continued all night in prayer and even if you cannot pray all night it's good to get up and to pray even for an hour even for an hour he said unto them can you not watch with me for an hour the word watch watch was used he said can you not watch with me for an hour mark 1 35 said and in the morning rising up great i don't think it's one i think mark is mark 11 35 and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and they prayed he rose up a great hour before day what would you consider um a great while a great while not oh a great while before day the 3 a.m prayer time the 3 a.m prayer time my god there's such a power it was during this hour that the Lord went on and prayed. During this hour, the Lord was in prayer. The Mount of Transfiguration, when that thing took place on the Mount of Transfiguration, it was during this time because when he came back down from the mountain, it was day. <laughs> it was day. So the Lord was in prayer all night and, and, and they saw Moses and, and Elijah appearing onto the mountain and, 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 and Peter Peter was the one who was saying all kind of stuff, but the understanding is that there is such a mystery and a power in the in praying, waking up a great time before day and pray. You know, my personal experience, to be honest to you, my life was transformed during that time. It was during that time when I was earnestly seeking God as I do now. I got up at 3 a.m. and I pray. And I pray. I prayed before I went to bed. I prayed before 12. I always try to pray before 12 o'clock to hinder the plans of the enemy to scatter them before they gather to send fire to rain upon them before they gather when i get up at 3 a.m i establish the work of god over my day i don't let the sun rise upon me and i am still in bed i have to get up and this was a time where i experienced god in such a powerful way while waiting on god dreams and and visions and encounters instructions from heaven was released to me concerning my life it was during that time that i saw some mighty things while waking up at this time and i not only that i saw breakthrough i saw breakthrough in my life because i rose up at this time this is a time i commanded in the name of jesus this is the time i commanded my morning this is the time that i took dominion over my day understanding Understanding who God is understanding the power that was entrusted into me to effectively do the work of God. Oh glory to God somebody. One of the things you have to realize is that a prophet that doesn't pray is a prophet that worries me. A Christian that doesn't pray is a Christian that worries me. Because if you are not praying, it means that you are not connected. If you are not in prayer, it means that you are not giving up anything. You are not sacrificing yourself unto God. We have to understand that we don't only pray for ourselves. We pray, we pray as watchmen. We pray for the city. We pray for people. We pray for people we don't even know. We pray for powers that are coming. We pray against powers that are rising. There is so many things. We have to do our watchmen. This is, this is why we have to rise up and pray, people. We have to rise up and pray. And my prayer that I'm going to pray today, let us pray that, you know, that God will give us the strength to rise up and pray. That God, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of the Living God, arise, the Holy Spirit of the Living God, arise, in the name of Jesus, God, I command the fire in the abilities to be kindled. 
fire be kindled in their bellies. A fire of the living God be kindled in their bellies. God, give them the same grace. Give them the same grace. The grace to contend. The grace to overcome sleep. The grace to rise up and pray. Give them the strength, God. Rokosh Kapalia. Reke Terebele Koshkata. Ruku Talabasata. Give them the strength to rise up and pray. Epe Kesko Turamandia. Rika Terabashata. I speak to your soul. I speak to your spirit, man. Receive prayer. Receive power. Receive the standing grace. Receive the spirit of might. Receive might. Roko Patashkata. Roko Patashkata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up, go to the Messiah, and speak to your spirit, man. And I command it to catch fire. Holy fire, Karabaraka Sata, Rebelete Shandaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. I bless you, O God, you are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lebre Eshkapalia. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Reko Shanda. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. Bariaka Soturiaba. If you have not yet made Christ your Lord, if you have not yet received eternal life, it is not too late. Ekabashata. Lebra Gazanda. Repeat this prayer after me. The Bible said, you should, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that is rose from the dead, and confess him with your mouth, then you shall be saved. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come before you a sinner, O oh God. Father, I repent of my sin. Confess that sin. Confess that sin. Whatever that sin is. Whatever this murder, homosexuality, prostitution, lie, adultery, fornication. You name that sin and you confess that sin. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I repent, my God. Father, I call you my God. I repent in the name of Jesus. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Wash me afresh. Block out my iniquities, O oh God. Make me new. As the Lord said, who the sun set free is free indeed. He set me free from the prison of sin, from the chains of iniquity. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died and rose the third day, and is set and he sat down at the right hand of power. And I declare that He is God, that He is the Lord, and I believe in Him. Be my Savior, O Jesus. Be my God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salvation be unto thee. Find a Bible believing church that preach it truth. The undiluted truth of the word of the living God. Not adding away nor taking. Go to the shatter, baraka sanda. And be baptized in the name of Jesus. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Until next time, this is A.B. Iris declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord bless you. Shalom.